a girls' night out on with your friends on Valentine's Day. I just think this would be so fun. My other two are more date looks. This one's more having fun. So that's what was the idea. I really love this eyeshadow look and the lip. I mean, I know together they're a little much maybe, but I think they complement each other pretty well. So the hair, I kind of went for the messy on purpose type do. I don't know. Just like that. So. Okay, to start, I so you can see I already did the one eye. You can see it's a really nice bold pink with like a um, flare out there that kind of makes your eyes look a little nicer than they would just one color. A lot of dimension going on, so I will be using quite a few eyeshadows, but um, they're all very dupable, I think. Well, all but one. One of them I would say is pretty unique, but or maybe two, but the others are pretty dupable, so hopefully you can find them in your collection already. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and as I mentioned, I already did the side just so I could test out the look, and I really like it. So, hopefully I can get it to look even with this side, but if not, you know, <laughs> this is what I'm going for. Let's hope that it works, because <laughs> this look is kind of like a lot of steps. I'll start off with a nice primer potion here. I really, I'm, my review's coming, I promise. I've been meaning to do my reviews for Urban Decay, but... I like the primer potion, the actual product. I hate this packaging. I'm glad they changed it because this is hard to get out. Anyway, so I'm going to prime all from here to here and also under my eyes. Alright, so this next step is actually the reason why primer is so important for this look, and that's because my base I'm using is actually a cream blush, so it's very creamy. I'm using it because I don't have a good pink base, and this is just a really nice, like, matte type pink base, and it's just going to make your colors pop really nicely, so, I don't know, it's probably not eye safe, but I'm just going to rock it anyway, and I'm take that and do it from here to, um... Just to keep a curved shape is the important thing, and just kind of take it out a little bit, as you can see over here, hopefully. Anyway, that was colored. This is, is except for the bottom, because I definitely won't want to try it there if it's a blush, you know? Next, I'm going to go with my main pink, which is probably the best pink of all time. And this is one that I would say is not that dupable because most brands don't have very good pinks, I don't think. This is Woodstock by Ulta. No, Urban Decay. <laughs> and it's just a hot pink. I love it. And also, they make a pencil for this now, Urban Decay. So if you wanted to go for that as a base and you had it, that would probably work well. Just a side note. And I'm just going to take that all over my lid and through where I put, everywhere I put the blush, along with, I'm going to swipe it on with a smaller brush, obviously, on my lower lash line all the way from the outer bit to, like, the end of the lashes. So that is your main color, as you can see, it's very vibrant. Um, we're going to tone it down a little, just in the outer bit, because we want the outer bit to kind of be a little smokier, just to add a little to the look. But I am going to stick to a lot of purples and pinks for this look. I'm only really using one neutral, so, you know, take that as you will. Um, I've been using a lot of these Revlon quads. I just really like these. They don't make these anymore. They do make other eyeshadows, so maybe try Revlon out. I don't know. I've never tried actually their newer stuff, but these are just some old ones my mom had. This is Mood Indigo, and the other one I'm using is Mod Stones, and they're both completely matte, so good selection of matte colors, and I just want a dark matte purple. This is a, an extremely duplicate color. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find one from most any brand. Just taking that on my blender brush and putting that on my crease. So it deepens it, but it doesn't really make it, it doesn't really take away from that pretty, uh, like, girly tone that we're going for. And next we're going to take another, um, deeper pink type tone. And this one is by Ulta. I think it might be a dupe for Matte Cranberry, although of course I'm not sure because I've never tried Matte Cranberry, but it's just a burgundy type color, and I'm going to be taking that... 
I don't remember what it's called because honestly I had a palette and they all got all the purples got mixed up and there were like 10 of them and I just don't know which one's which but anywho I'm going to be taking that with the pencil brush and kind of doing my outer V but I'm going to make this kind of like a thick outer V because I'll be doing a more uh, precise outer V later but yeah just taking that color go back in with my blender brush and just blend all those colors so they have a nice so it just looks like kind of a dimension look rather than a line, like a very separated look. Oh dang, let me. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that cranberry color and put that on the outer bit of my lower lash line. All right, and last thing I'm gonna not last thing, but like last thing as far as crease work is I'm gonna take a matte black minus from Wet n Wild's Green Palette. Any matte black will do, obviously. Again, a very dupable color, and I'll be taking that with a pencil brush and just making this one a little more precise and closer to the eye. Again, blending that slightly. Okay, and then I just want to add a little bit of a sparkly pink in the middle of my eye just to brighten it. And this is a beautiful, really cheap, nice pink. This is, um, this is probably the only color from this look that I would say is not as dupable. And this is LA Colors, which is from a drugstore for a dollar. Not a drugstore, a dollar store. And this is Lollipop. And I'll just be popping that with a mineral brush straight in the middle of my eye. And also in the middle of my um, eye under as well. <laughs> okay, so the eyeshadow is done. Now we're going to do the liner, and for the liquid liner, as you can see, I kind of did a nice cat eye type thing on the top, and then I slightly kind of extended the lower lash line to kind of create a double wing, but not like an insane one, just a little bit of fun and interest. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the side. Um, not a thick line, as you can see, just a nice, it's standout, but it's not like super thick Amy Winehouse or something. And then for lower lash line, I do not want to skip the black down there, but I don't want it to be smudgy and intense because the focus is more on the eyeshadow and the upper line. So I'll just be taking a nice 24-7 um, eyeliner in oil slick, and I won't be like rubbing it too many times, just once or twice to get a nice thin black line along my waterline. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to be using two different mascaras. I'm going to start with my favorite, which is Last Best Lux, and do that on the top and bottom. And then, I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my new mascara, which it gives you kind of a false lash effect, as you may see, but I can't do it on the bottom, so I'm just going to be doing this on the top. Um, a legal length. I'll be doing two coats. I have to give it a week. I just finished today on that, so this it will be coming up next video, so... Not even being in like one or two days, I'll have that up. Um, for more in depth review, check that out. But I do really like this for creating almost like a false lash effect. So that's what I'll be doing with that on the top lash line. I forgot to do my highlight. For my highlight, I'm going to take that other Revlon palette I showed you, which is the Mothstone. And this is just a matte light pink. And I'll be taking that with a little paddle brush and doing that on my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, and there are the finished eyes. I'll zoom you out so I can show you what I did in my face and we'll do the lips. Okay, so I already did my face, which I didn't really do blush. I just did, you know, my foundation concealer thing. And then I just kind of contour my cheeks with this. Uh, it's actually shimmery, which is kind of weird to do for a contour, but I like it. Actually, I've never used it before as contour, but I really like it. And it's Elf All Over Color Stick and Toast that I just pop out my cheek, blow my cheekbones, and blend it in really well, just so it wasn't a harsh line. And I really like that. I didn't really want any color on my cheeks because I'm doing like two different color lip eye thing going on, so I didn't really want to do that. So I didn't, <laughs> obviously. 
Now for blitz, I was considering, I was going back and forth on whether to do a nude or like a red, and you could do either. Um, go ahead and say one of my favorite nude lipsticks is called Summer Angel by Rimmel. There it is. You could do something like that, or you know, creme de nude, or what's the one by Revlon, soft nude. A nude would be great with this look, I do think. But I just like to do kind of a hot pink kind of color but like a darker one than the eye and I will be doing a toned down version so I know I thought that'd be fun. I'll be starting with my Elsa lip crown and Bewitched. Um, you know if you've heard if you're an Urban Decay follower you know they have their like super flash or super saturated high gloss things we have at Sephora. This looks like it could be pretty similar to the um, I don't remember what it's called the adrenaline yeah um, and it's actually a really good quality, so if you want a good dupe for that, it's at all side. This is good. Um, but anyway, I'm going to take that. It's really long lasting as well, so it's good for a night out or whatever. I'm going to take that all over my lip, but I'm actually going to kind of blot at it just because it's a very intense color, and I want a toned down, like, stain version. Okay, so that color is somewhere between a red and a hot pink, um, and I just think it actually complements his eyes quite well, and like I said, I'm just going to blot it a little, so I'll just take, I don't have a tissue, so I'll just use the back of my hand, and just kiss it, you know, want as many times as it takes to get it, though it's more just a stain, which is good. Relax, so, and then I want to kind of add a softer undertone to that just so it complements the eyes a little better. So I'm going to be taking my um, Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Crush. So there is my finished look. Again, as I said, if you want to go for a nude lip, I know hot pink eyes and a hot pink type lip is a little insane, but this was my bold Valentine's Day look, so I thought it would be appropriate to do a hot pink lip as well. Um, so this I think be great for more like a bit of a date, more like a girls night out, you know, going dancing or whatever it is you want to do. Maybe just hanging out and doing each other's makeup. So just I hope you like this um, and stay tuned because I have my last Valentine's Day look coming up in the next couple of days. I'm thinking about doing a few lip tutorials as well before Valentine's Day, but it's Tuesday so I don't know if I'll be able to. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys try it out. Maybe just when you're playing around with makeup or even for going out. So, see you guys around and thanks for watching. Bye!